Now it's time to take a look at what's grabbing headlines right around the world. And Solange Mujan is back with us here on set for today's press review. Solange, you're starting off uh, with how the German press, aren't you, is covering these anti-mask protests that happened over the weekend in Berlin. Yeah, nearly 40,000 people uh, came out yesterday for mostly peaceful marches and demonstrations against Germany's restrictions in regard to the coronavirus. Um, but as the paper Reich Post tells us, the rally turned violent in front of parliament with the storming of the stairs of the Reichstag by a small group. And for the paper Der Tiger Spiegel, what needs to be analyzed here is all those people who were actually part of the rally rally earlier in the day and not the small neo-Nazi groups that stormed uh, the parliament. For the paper, the widespread condemnations from politicians have fail failed to actually speak uh, to the tens of thousands uh, that who aren't necessarily far-right protesters. Der Tiger Spiegel argues that to avoid their being radicalized, the political class needs to hear them out rather than condemn the entire protest as, to use the federal president's word, quote, an attack at the heart of the German democracy. Let's come back to France for this next story. An espionage case. It's very strange this is uh, making the news headlines. It is indeed. And when you read about it, you sort of can already see the, yeah. the upcoming Netflix reenactment to come. <laughs> um, Le Monde tells us that a French lieutenant colonel that was based in Naples with uh, NATO forces has been taken in for questioning for being a spy for Russia. Mm. But what's really interesting here is why this espionage affa affair is going public. Le Monde tells us that such cases rarely go through the judicial system. And this time that may be because the officer was based abroad. He was part of NATO forces. Uh, and also um, the paper says that it may be a way of making a political point. Uh, Le Monde says that it may be about Paris sending a, quote, firm message to Moscow or a means of denouncing aggressiveness coming from the Kremlin. Solange is already uh, writing the script, in fact. <laughs> now, aggressive political tactics are the subject of uh, many articles in the US press today. American papers uh, discussing the role Donald Trump has played in regard to inciting anger in places like Portland, Oregon and Kenosha, Wisconsin. Yeah, and as the New York Times tells us, tensions are sky high again in Portland, Oregon, after a man wearing a far-right group hat was shot and killed. Now, there are fears of retribution attacks by Trump supporters on the Black Lives uh, Matters protesters there. Uh, and the local paper, The Oregonian, says that Portland's mayor, as we heard earlier, lashed out at Trump in a press conference directly blaming him. He asked the president to, quote, stay the hell out of the way, end quote, a sentiment that was also expressed by the governor of Wisconsin, who asked the president not to come to the city for fear, quote, your presence will only hinder our healing. Now, for the Washington Post, this is exactly what needs to be happening. Uh, a columnist there writes that journalists, co commentators, politicians need to st stop, quote, pushing the Trump Trump's baseless propaganda that Trump and not Joe Biden is the one creating violence for personal and political gain. Finally, Solange, there's been some good news. This is uh, in French sport over this past week, isn't it? Yeah, as you can see from the cover of the French sports magazine, <laughs> L'Equipe, nice a Frenchman won uh, uh, the Tour de France's second stage yesterday. Mm. But we have time to talk about the Tour de France. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's ongoing. Yes. But what's Just also started. exciting is this little top here of... The, 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 of the paper. Uh, women's f in women's football, uh, the team Olympique Lyonnaise won the Champions League title uh, this weekend, 3-1 to one over Wolfsburg. This is the seventh time they've done it, mm. leading keep to say it was, quote, a seventh heaven victory by legendary and ruthless, they say, sportswomen. They could have had them both on the front. I agree. I was equal kind of, uh, equal the measure. The tour is important. It's tour is important. It's such a massive thing. I agree. But, but you it's know, the Champions League. It's yeah, a, it's, it's a the big Champions deal. League. It's a one-time only thing. Fifty-fifty. Le keep next time round, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've told them. Thanks very much, Solange Mujan, with the uh, papers here on France Twenty Four.